Now then, you'll see what this uh, video is about shortly because this is a primary introduction rather than a secondary one. But I just wanted to show you this. This is a harvester bar that is particularly bent and nasty. This is where it normally fits onto the harvester head. Anyway, that's that. I also wanted to say thank you to people who've donated towards the tree planting um, exercise. Thorn Warbler and the family there. I've got a list here. It's not very long. Uh, Kathy's Cotton Candy, which I'm assuming is from the US because the donation was in dollars. And Gigafish. And then, of course, on top of that, we've got Ian Helsby, who's been a long-term uh, Patreon um, supporter. And then recently, Dr. Michael Wang has joined him. And you're all very welcome. And it just, do you know, it just makes that bit of difference. I put quite a lot of effort into these videos, and it's about sharing info. And although some of the videos might seem a bit obscure deep in there there's a little tip somewhere about this that and the other just stuff that i've learned over the years anyway let's crack on with this now now then we're on something different today we're fixing harvester bars what tends to happen is they get bent which is not a problem because they'd be straightened but this here this slot gets opened up and then it can slop on the harvester head. And if you remember um, that poplar for biomass, we looked at a harvester head on that video, and I'll put a link to it. Anyway, and of course the other one is that the, the roller nose, they wear out. So you have some bars with this bit worn, or it's really badly distorted, and some bars with a, a nose that's exploded as it were fallen apart so it's a matter of grafting the two together so hopefully you can see that the slot in that bar is okay and the slot behind it that is opened up so that's not a good thing and then when we come to the zoom out a bit the nose this isn't a particularly bad example but this nose is really worn there and at least that still moves but that's damaged there whereas this one's fine and that's an example where the, the nose and the sprocket have just disappeared so as you can see what we tend to do is bolt these two together and then when they're tightened together then we can angle grinder them with a very narrow one mil cutting disc and then you get one good bit of this and one good bit of that and then you can work from there so we've got two bars they're the same shape with opposite faults that nose is absolutely shot this one's not and the opposite the other end so just bolt it up really quite tight We're going to this is a removable nose but apparently it's difficult to get these so we're going to cut this side of that hole so I'll just line the bars up that's pretty good clamp it down
And you don't have to be totally dead right because you're matching the bars together. So you don't have to be perfectly straight across here. So I'll just cut that. Noise alert. So I just had to move the camera because this bolt was getting in the way. So this top one is the duff one and this top one is the good one. So there we go, that's duff, that's good, that goes on there, like that, okay. So I'll just line this all up, but the next thing to do is, let me zoom in. Because we're welding on that on there, we need to V this out, but we need to stop just at the bottom of the groove here, because if you start welding across there, it's very easy for it to all melt away. So we stop there and there. So there you go, you just stop short, yeah, and I'll do that on the nose section and I'll come back to you. Here we go, got a couple of bits of broken hacksaw blade there, a, uh, a duff nose there. That goes there. And we just clamp this down onto this steel table. And then I shall just tack it together.
right o that's not bad I'll just grind that back um, so that's good and smooth and somewhere on this bench I've got a short section of chain here and that just a little bit so we'll just run the little grinder that side's pretty good this side there's oh no that's fine now and if we look on that edge let's just put a grinder there to hold that in place where's the bar there's the bar focus You can hardly see the join, there it is, just in the middle there, yeah, so that's pretty good, so I'm pleased with that, so I've just got to crack on with some more. Hopefully you found that interesting, it's just it's a way of extending the life of things yeah, rather than just buying new ones because on a harvester especially when you're working with uh, hardwoods it's very common to bend the bar to damage them you know it's cutting a lot of wood quite rapidly and the bars don't last a long time but if we can extend the life by double the amount perhaps yeah that's great isn't it so catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.